Today we're going to watch Informatica On Demand in action in a B2B scenario where we can actually FTP files uh, back and forth between Salesforce and your on-premise systems and of course a B2B partner. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Um, let's start off with our FTP site, um, which here has one file called account data CSV. So we can open this file up and uh, see what's in there. And so we have a few different uh, records, uh, five. And uh, let's go ahead and make sure this isn't in Salesforce yet. So there's my Dallas Cowboys. Let's go into Salesforce. All right, so no Dallas Cowboys at this point, um, but we do want to get them in there at some point, right? So uh, let's do that right now. So let's come over here to uh, force.com. Let's go to Informatica On Demand as a force.com app. And then, of course, log directly in. Um, the first step we're going to do is we're going to grab that file uh, from our B2B partner. So that's simply a matter of going to our data services, power center service, um, and using our FTP mapping. Right, so FTP is pretty set up. You pretty easy to set up. You simply upload that FTP file, um, and then there is simply an instruction file that allows you to do whatever you want with FTP. So in this case, we're going to grab or open up the connection, username and password, and then we're going to get that file from our FTP site. Now, on the reverse, if we wanted to put a file somewhere, like back to our B2B partner, we could do that just as easily. Uh, and so once the uh, FTP task is saved. Um, the next step is going to go right into our data synchronization service. And let's make a new data synchronization task to take that file that we brought over from our B2B partner and put it into Salesforce. Right? These were accounts, so we're going to do Salesforce accounts. So let me go ahead and name this. All right, and then of course, uh, operation, I like to pick upsert because that means. Um, we can prevent duplicates by updating things that are already there and inserting things that are not. So you'll notice that we're in this data synchronization task wizard. It's a simple six step wizard that really walks you through the process, right? So we're going to grab our FTP files and then of course we're going to go to our account data. Uh, right now it's empty because um, we're going we haven't grabbed it from the FTP site yet. Um, but you'll see that the wizard just takes us from grabbing the data from our FTP source to putting it into our salesforce.com as a target. All right, so we can simply pick account. Now, I could actually, you know, do anything I want with the Salesforce um, data. So right now we're putting our data into account, but we can also do things like um, call centers and campaigns and opportunities. If you're looking at the quote to, quote to cash scenario, you got line items, price books, products. Um, even custom objects. I got a Twitter set up down here. Um, aircraft info. All kinds of stuff I can simply put into Salesforce. So uh, back to our main task. We grab that file from our FTP site. Um, we're working our way through the wizard where we defined where that file was. We're putting it into Salesforce. Um, and now going on to the next step, which is data filter. Now, we're not going to use this, but let me show it to you real quick. Um, here, if I wanted to take my account data, and maybe I only wanted to grab data that actually had a phone number. Right, so uh, you know, I could do you know phone number, you know, is not null, right? Which means I actually have a phone number. You know, I could do something like the only want the data that's changed since the last time this thing ran. So really, the filter is pretty powerful because I can do lots of um, limiting. It's really those business rules for moving data that I'm defining there. Um, this is where a lot of the power comes in uh, in the field mapping. So, for example, uh, on the left side, these are those, uh, this account data that I got from my B2B partner through FTP. On the right side, these are my Salesforce.com accounts. Um, so, things that have similar or the same names map automatically for me. Um, the rest of it is just a matter of drag and drop. So, for example, I don't have my phone number yet. Um, so, because it doesn't exactly match up, but that's not a problem. I can simply take over my area code and my phone number. And you'll notice that Informatica On Demand automatically concatenated that for me. Now, if I wanted to really get crazy, I could do something like uh, look up and look up that phone number, look up the state in a different data source, different database, 
um, back to Salesforce if I wanted to. Um, I can also dig in here and I have access to about a hundred different functions that I can use to transform and manipulate that data any way that I want. Uh, which actually turns out to be really powerful because a lot of times um, these things don't always match one to one. Um, so I picked up cert, you know, it's, the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure I provide that bi-directional cross-reference um, for that bi-directional synchronization if I wanted to. Um, I simply take my IDs and I match them up together. Um, and then of course, uh, one thing I forgot is name, which is very important because we're looking for those Dallas Cowboys. Um, and there you go, account name. So that is all we need to do right there. Let's go ahead and uh, save that task. Actually, there's one more thing I want to show you. Something that uh, we're going to do in a minute is scheduling, but we're going to do that in our task flow. So you can schedule these individual tasks or you can schedule the group of them, um, which will be really neat. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, go into our configuration um, task flow. And this is where we can really combine those purpose-built tasks to work together. So if you remember, the first thing we're going to do is uh, FTP accounts. Right, so uh, this is where we're going to find that schedule. We can say we want to run this thing every day. Um, of course, we could also make a new schedule that maybe runs on certain days of the week, that maybe runs every couple of minutes. Um, you know, really kind of the sky's the limit as far as what you want to do for running these different jobs. Um, and really, the core part is let's add our task. So the first thing we want to do is we want to grab that file from our B2B partner through FTP. Um, the second thing we want to do is uh, we want to run our FTP to Salesforce.com accounts, which is our data synchronization, uh, to go into Salesforce and manipulate the data along the way. And that's all we're going to do. So let's go ahead and hit OK there. Um, and let's go ahead and run this. So, uh, you know, we're almost done, actually. FTP is really more simpler than you think, and integration with Informatic On Demand really makes it easy. So right now what I'm doing is I'm running my job. Uh, the first step is to FTP and grab the file from our server, our B2B partner, um, back here on premise. And then when that's done, we're going to go ahead and take that file and we're going to put it back into Salesforce. So the neat thing here is you have the activity monitor where you can see and we're already on our second task, these things running. But you also have a log where you can see you know, what happened as far as the details, the good and the bad, all that kind of stuff. All right, so uh, as this running, uh, basically the next thing we want to show is going into Salesforce. So as soon as it gets finished, we're going to go into Salesforce. We're going to find our Dallas Cowboys, and we're going to be done. Let's go ahead and flip right back over to Salesforce. Um, a quick flip of the hand, and then we can go ahead and search for those Dallas Cowboys real quick uh, and make sure that our process made it happen. So there they are, uh, changed just a few minutes ago. Um, and this should match up to our file from our FTP server exactly. All right, so the Dallas Cowboys, uh, 650-864 on Hamilton Avenue, and that is correct. So thank you guys for your time, and uh, please take a second to check out Informatic On Demand in action. Um, you can do your own trial for 30 days and accomplish all this um, and just a matter of minutes like we did. Thank you very much.